Yes. Ooh. Now it what? It had nothing to do with his metal detector. He just now what? stumbled on it. Yeah, what is it? Right. It's a Bronze Age axe head, 4,000 years old. And what's it made out of? Bronze, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> Rotated the tad. Uh, undamaged. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Shape on both ends. It's sharp. A, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Flip her over. Oh, yeah, well. Unreal. I'm still shaking. How deep was it? 12 inches. You can tell he's a big guy because that's where I was going and he just pushed me out of the way. <laughs> On my bucket list since I've been coming to England for seven years. I wanted gold today, but unfortunately, I just got a 4,000 year old Bronze Age axe head. I'm, I'm shaking, I'm so excited. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, it's been a very interesting day today. I've been digging greenies and buttons and buckles and that kind of thing uh, but two hammers have come up and of course my brother uh, dug the Bronze Age axe head a little while ago uh, beautiful axe head anyway I think I probably had my first decent find of the day I do believe I've got a Roman coin doesn't look like it's in too good a shape though not a lot of detail that I can see on it just judging from the color and the shape the weight, I think it's Roman. At least I hope so. Means there might be something else in this area. Slow day, so I'm going to show about everything. This looks like it's probably a pot man. Probably medieval, long about there. Well, we're on a new field. Uh, Actually, we've been on this field before about two years ago, and uh, a lot of good things came out then. Uh, so far today, not much has come out. I did just dig this uh, Roman coin. Doesn't appear to be in that great a shape. There may be enough detail on it to determine just who the emperor is. Uh, have to wait and see on that because it is kind of rough. But uh, this is the field that we're having great big field and it actually borders a scheduled area where a Roman temple once stood so uh, should be a lot of Roman artifacts it's uh, just been turned over and rolled so the conditions are actually ideal for hunting uh, a little bit surprised that not more is turning up yet but the day is still young we'll wait and see Okay, this is the next up uh, coin. Looks in pretty nice condition. I cleaned it off because I thought it was a uh, just a greeny, maybe early 1900s. But it turns out, and I can I can read it. Don't know if you can see it, but it's a King William, probably early 1700s. Very good detail on this thing. Uh, pleasant surprise because I thought it was just a like I said another greeny. Okay, I haven't been doing live digs because 99.9% .9 of the uh, time that uh, I get a good signal, it's nothing good. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try again because I'm getting a very good signal here. Hitting a steady 83. Indicates be 5 inches deep, so... Let's go ahead and see what this is. Hopefully it'll be something that I can show. Alright, well it wasn't five inches. And it's out. So let's see what I've got. Not seeing anything, but pull the coil over here. Okay, I've got it in my hand. Let's see what I got. Still in my hand. Yep, there's a coin. Let me clean this thing off. I don't know that it's anything. 
Let me clean it off and I'll be back. Okay, I'm sure this probably isn't showing up on camera, but what this is, is a Norwich farthing. This side, there is a, uh, the Norwich Castle, and on this side, uh, it indicates Norwich farthing, and a date of 1669, I think, either 1669 or 1665. So, a neat little coin nonetheless. Okay, I'm not going to get too excited, uh, but uh, I was getting a signal of 75 both ways. Uh, good consistent signal. And I see what looks like a silver coin right here. Don't know what kind yet. Here we go. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to... looks more modern. I'm going to have to take a look and see what this is. Okay, uh, got out the magnifying glass. It's a Queen Victoria sixpence. Uh, one of the later years, 1890. But in fair condition. And this little item just came up uh, again. I'm not really sure what it is. Looks like almost a little buckle of some sort. Serpentine looking. Certainly has to have some age to it. Possibly Roman, possibly a little newer. But uh, I wouldn't think much. Yeah, it's starting to get near the end of the day. It's been a, an interesting day. I haven't found anything killer, but an interesting find or two. Uh, on the way in, really slowly working my way that way. But, you know, pops a little hammer coin. This one doesn't have a lot of detail on it. I can see a little bit. And it's a copper coin. still on my way in uh, just dug this piece of bronze it's uh, been up but I believe it's a uh, it's a piece of Roman coin I can see a design in it it's, uh, heavy bronze I believe that's what this is and as I'm still walking in uh, looks like I've got a nice little uh, hammered silver half groat here it's a long cross. Looks like it's going to have fair detail. We ought to be able to identify the monarch easily once it gets cleaned up. So the day's turning out or ending with a bang. <laughs>